Hey guys, um, yeah, today I'm gonna be doing something a little different. I'm going to be doing a talk through video. I actually prefer those because I don't know, I just think that they are a little more intimate, if that's the right word. Um, but I haven't been doing them lately because I have a kitten, a uh, semi, she's not really new, but old to me, new to you. Um, I have a kitten and she's really loud lots of the time. She's usually crying or she's not crying. She's in the background or in another room making a lot of noise. So that's why I haven't most of my videos have been voiceovers lately. Wow, that looks bad. Okay. It's okay. We're going to go with it. Um, but yeah. I already moisturize with my Eucerin lotion and my coconut oil. And I'm just using my NYX um, eyebrow gels and espresso and black. I mix them both together for my brows. Guys, I love hate this blonde hair. I can't see. I love hate this blonde hair. What I hate about it is I hate that I look disgusting in it when I don't wear makeup on. When I don't have makeup on, excuse me. I hate that. I hate that when you're styling it, it sheds like crazy. Because there's barely any hair. Well, there's whoa, there's barely any hair on this cap. Anyways, um, it was really thin before I chopped it up. Um, and yeah, it's just not exactly... It looks really cute. Even in person, it looks pretty cute. Um, I just don't like the shedding. It's really obnoxious. Shedding and it like, the hairs break off really easily. It's just really annoying. Really, really annoying. Now my eyebrows are weird as hell, but it's okay. We're gonna fix them with concealer. I need to do my eyebrows. Should I do? Do you guys think I should do an updated um, eyebrow routine? In my last one, I showed you guys how I pluck, tweeze, and prep them for drawing in or filling in my eyebrows. Um, and I kind of like the way I did that because I feel like there aren't. A lot of tutorials like that on YouTube for an eyebrow routine usually it's just like oh this is how we do it this is what products I use blam pop in brows so I don't I feel like I don't really see a lot of people actually show you how they shape them and how to transform them from being ratty to shapely to like nice after being filled like the whole process look at my little granny sweater I feel like I should be like baby for baby <laughs> my little granny sweater granny time but yeah um but yeah so maybe i'll do an eyebrow an updated eyebrow routine my friend also said that she needed help doing her eyebrows so maybe i will do one send it to her and let me know if you guys think i should do one comment down below or like this video or vice versa or whatever if you think that i should do that See how my eyebrow looks a mess here? It's okay, because it's not going to look like that in a little bit. It's going to look nice. It's not going to look ugly in a little bit. You show is ugly. <laughs> Comment down below if you know where that's from. And please, if you do, leave like leave the name of the movie. 
Or who says it, what character says it. And don't cheat, don't look it up on Google. But yeah, I'm taking the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color fawn because you're just so fond of me and i'm just gonna blend that out mm -hmm. simple as that to clean up the top of my brows i use this one because it's pretty close to my skin tone i was honestly using this concealer as a foundation for a little bit and I really liked it I actually learned that from this youtuber I'm obsessed with Jocelyn Yvonne star in my mind we're friends but she's probably like no bitch bye but that's okay because in my mind we're friends on some non-psychotic stuff and then I'm just going to take whatever i can squeeze the heck out of my medium beige and make my brow look presentable again bam ah oh, sucky sucky now uh. You guys want to know what kind of contact lenses I use? I get them from Air Optics. Yes, they're the Air Optics, the colored brand. The colored, you know, they have like a colored section and like a regular section. These are the colored ones. And yeah, I think these are in hazel. I have green ones as well. Well, I had green ones, so I don't really have them anymore, but I do need to order some more because I kind of like the green ones. Don't get me wrong. I do like my real eyes. For the most part, the only reason why I really started, started wearing these kind of semi-religiously or well, religiously is because my normal contacts with like my regular prescription, no color ran out and I had these two um left over the green ones and the hazel ones I had those two pairs left over from my Halloween native warrior tutorial and I was like oh you know I might as well wear them I got them why not wear them so I just started wearing them and they're kind of cute so yeah, I need to get a pair of clear ones so I can go back to my brown eyes for a little. Give this color eye um, life a break. I'm in no way trying to fool people into thinking that my eyes are really this color. If someone says something about them, if someone compliments me, excuse me, about my eyes, I'll be like, thanks, they're fake. You can get them at www. I don't know, 1 800 contacts, I think is where I got them. You're like, oh my god. Oh my god, Ronnie. Oh yeah, that's my eyebrows for now. Um, But yeah, like I remember this one girl at my job. She saw my photo ID. And, well, no, she saw me in person. And then she went on, she saw me in person a few times. And then she saw me again. And later she like pulled up my photo ID off the computer system. And she was like, oh my God. Those aren't your real eyes. Oh my God, that's not your real hair. And I was like, yeah, sorry to, you know, disappoint you. This is what I actually look like. Brown eyes and nappy hair, my bad. 
didn't know that's how life was right now, you know? Sorry, just a regular black girl with nappy hair and brown eyes. I know it's such a huge deal. She thought I was this, I don't know, green eyed looking, curly hair looking, long weave looking person. But I'm not, I'm normal. Not that that's not normal. It's just not how I look, sorry guys. So I'm just putting the LA Girl in Fawn again. I just put it kind of to color correct. Um, I like doing this instead of actually using the colors to correct for the time being right now. That's what I like to do. I don't really know why. It's just, you know, sometimes you have makeup phases. This is just one of my phases. Um, and I just sprayed my beauty blender with my dewy nyx setting spray just because it's not really that um damp right now i don't know why i didn't just dip it in water i literally have a cup of water for fresh water for dumping my sponge in but whatever so i'm gonna mix my uh nyx illuminizer and my cover fx enhancement drop drop it because I feel like the cover effects is really silver for me personally at this point in my life because I'm forever changing because I'm I we are forever changing we are forever evolving getting better and stuff upgrading but as of right now I like being a little more golden uh, yeah I don't know I like being a little more golden for the time you Okay, we're not gonna waste the product. We're gonna put it on our face. That was a fail. A fail. Can you see that? Like, why? Why is my life? This is my life. In a nutshell, welcome. <laughs> welcome to the shit show. But yeah, I'm just gonna mix those. I think if I do go back to Sephora, I am going to get... Uh, cover FX another one and see if they have like a more golden shade for me because I need something a little more golden every time I think of the word golden or like shiny I think of um I'm now dipping it into the water I think of Patricia Brit Prop Brit pop princess i don't even know if that's still her name anymore but no her name is patricia right now but she is a uk based um youtuber and i did this wow that's itchy okay well, i just need to scratch that we'll rub it because i'm scratching and She's always like, every time I think of golden, she's always like, you are gold. Or if I think of something that's really shiny, normally in her videos, she'll be like, shining, 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 yeah. So, yeah, that's what I thought of, in case you guys cared. And if you're not watching her, you need to be, because she's uh, freaking hilarious. No, not the blonde. Not in the hairline. Probably put way too much up here. And to be honest, I'm probably going to add more of the of the illuminizer because it's too silver. I just want to look glowy. I don't want to look like ashy glow. That's just not what I'm trying to do right now. You know, I just look like an ashy mess. A little baby robot. Or like a Tin Man. That's what I look like. A freaking Tin Man. From Oz. Not Wizard of Oz. Oz. 
and that's okay but it's just not it's not the look we were trying to go for today I feel like I'm gonna hate this we're gonna fix it fix it Jesus I'm gonna put more and more and more and more we're just gonna put more we're just gonna go more and more you want to know what's more this is hopefully gonna fix it but i definitely think i put too much told myself I should mix it with my foundation and I did it so we'll see I just look like a bronze statue now no in 1937 Olivia E graced the planet with mediocre YouTube videos That reached up to 15. I don't know what the, I'm talking about. Oh, it's in the hair. Not the blood. To be honest, I really don't get over here now that I have blonde hair. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm just gonna keep it a stack with you. I'm gonna do it now just because I said it, but. I really don't. So now that we look like a bronze statue, I'm going to really be piling up some foundation to cover it with my Anastasia Beverly Hills stick foundation. Let me not roll it all the way up. I don't want a KKW Beauty moment. I'm just going to put this on all of my face. Like so. And I'm actually going to use a different beauty blender. Because the one that I just used has a crap ton of like statue sheen on it. So I'm just going to use this. And I know it looks like I'm like beating my face, literally like punching my face, giving myself muffins, but I'm really not. Or well, maybe I am. I think it's just because I'm working kind of fast. I don't want this video to be super long. you light cometh through I usually don't even put for um, makeup close to my forehead when I have blonde when I'm wearing this blonde wig because I'm just really not trying to mess it up to be honest I mean, I could clean it off with alcohol, but I don't want it to run on the rest of my face. Where's my dang paper? Where's the dang method? It's not working. Oh, yeah. That's what you call a problem solver right there. Future. That looks crazy. Let's just tuck that back because we don't want you to see that. Wow, my hair looks a mess. Okay. I did nothing for my look. Nothing. This 
Same thing on this side. Okay. I kind of like it though. I'm not gonna lie. I ain't even gonna lie. I ain't even gonna hold you. That, that looks horrible. I'm just gonna act like that this side of my hair doesn't look like crap. Just just act, just go with me. We're actresses here. We act. I like this. Okay. Come through. No. No, yes, no, maybe. It's a lot. Mm, okay, let me put the rest of my makeup on. But I'm a fan. Comment down below if you like this. I'm gonna really need to get that darker, um, that darker, the darker color FX cover, cult cover, the dark cover FX color because this is doing me in good. I'm just taking the, um, what is this? What it is? The medium beige by LA Girl, and I'm going to go in with the beauty blender that I just used to cover the bronze. And hold on my pike. I don't know why I take it into my inner eye if it goes up too high, but I just do. There's no rhyme or reason. So let me tell you what happened to me in 2017. In 2017, practically 2018. I'm just going to call it 2018 because that's the way my life works. But in 2017, I bought a new car. Whoop, whoop. Um, it was super annoying. The process was super annoying. It took me about a month to get it because the dealership didn't have the title. Um, it was a month of back and forth, back and forth. I had signed the papers, blah, 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 whatever, whatever. And it took a month or so, probably more than a month, to be honest, to get the dang papers, not the papers, the, um, the title of the car. And that's annoying because it's like I signed for this car. I pay for this car, but I can't drive this car because motherfuckers, like, are not on my side right now. It's just really frustrating. Because, like I said, I signed and paid for the car, but the titles weren't in. Technically, you're not even supposed to sell the car if you don't have the title. So that was one thing. So... I basically had to rent a car for like a month or two. I finally get the car. It doesn't come with a manual. This, that, and the third. It's just a whole, it's a mess. It's a mess. It's a mess. I'm running amok. Amok, amok, amok. In the city. So, I basically am like, okay, whatever, blah, blah. I'm just waiting for my car. So, I get the car, finally. And then, January 30th, I crash it freaking great happy 2018 to be so that's what i'm going through right now in life um yep that's what mess is happening in my life so that's not great but hopefully you guys this year is doing better than mine Um, what else is happening in 2018? 2018, I've been making more YouTube videos. I have been... 
having less excuses in life. Just kind of like, yeah, it happened and I'm dealing with it and I'm going on. Not like, oh, well, and then, well, I'm trying to be more responsible. A responsible young woman because I'm now old. I'm not old. I'm 24. The girl's getting up there. So I'm just basically, you know. Trying to take accountability for my actions, you know? Not be like, oh, I'm sad, I'm fat. I'm trying to be like, oh, I'm fat because I eat this, that, and the third. But I'm going to be skinny because I'm working out. So I have a gym membership. I have been going, to be completely honest. I did slack during the holidays because I went to my parents' house during the holidays. And, um... You know, my gym isn't everywhere. It's only near where I live at the moment. So, yeah, I've been going to the gym on and off, but I've been there. They see me, they know me, they know my face. That's how you know it's real. They know who I am. Um, yeah, 2018 goals is really just health and wealth. And I don't specifically mean financially wealthy obviously i would love to be financially wealthy but i just mean wealthy in like positive friends wealthy in positive vibes same thing with health health and positive friends health with positive vibes just overall wow that was horrible i didn't even the lace that's crazy wow Okay, we're just gonna cover that. Um, but yeah, I just really want positivity. I really only want people around me who are bringing something to the table. Um, I know it sounds that sounds kind of like bad, but it's like we all have relationships for specific reasons. Not to be like anybody's using anybody, but it's kind of like i have this person as a friend because they're a great person yes they're a great person they make me laugh they help me out when i need help type situation i, I like i don't want to be thinking in my life like oh why are you here you know i want to be like this person is in my life because of this because they bring this to me they bring happiness positivity you know good vibes to me not just because oh i knew them and Blah, blah, blah. Like, yeah, I know them, but they don't need to be in my life. Like, in my day-to-day. -day. If I know them, I'll say hi when I see them. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. What are you guys' goals, resolutions, aspirations for 2018? I think it's kind of whack that we have to wait a whole year to, like, set these goals for our lives. I mean, I get it. You're, you know, starting new, sort of, kind of, not really. But why can't we just have the discipline in ourselves to be like, yeah, I'm going to change it today. You know, as a whole, as a society. I'm rambling. This is like my everyday full face look, minus the bronze statue in the beginning. I don't usually do that. Okay. And I put too much banana powder, I mean, translucent powder, under my eyes because. I don't bake. I feel like I look dry as hell when I try and bake. Like I look like a pack of flour. That's what I feel like. I probably don't look like that, but that's how I feel like I look is like a pack of powder. And you know, who wants to look like a pack of powder? Not me. Not I. <laughs> Not over here. My nose is a little 
a little more muddy than the other side. It's not horrible, but I don't love it. I'm not in love with it or whatever. So yeah, that's pretty much the face. It's a quick little beat down. Nothing crazy. I'm just taking whatever is left on my brush from my um, Express the Darker Concealer. And just running it through what I just um, used the baking powder on because I don't want it to look ashy. And then I'm just going to highlight real quick. I'm just going to use the Hustle Baby. Um, what's it called? Oh, wow, that's really wet. Okay. Do you guys ever think, like, what was life before blank, you know? Like, obviously, we know what we were doing before blank, but now that we have something else that's upgraded us or that's taken us to another level, we're like, oh, I can't go back to anything else. This is all I know. Like, got to be glue. How are we applying our frontals before? What was life? And we thought that the elastic band was the method, the method. And then got to be glue came around and we were like, no, this is it. This is what's taking us to the top, you know? I think that's crazy. <laughs> that as society, it's hard for us to, I'm just finding my natural highlight here. Yeah, well, here it is. As society, it's hard for us to move backwards. Like we're always going, 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 moving forward, forward, forward. I think it's so weird that we can never sit back and think like, oh wow, that's crazy, life was great before this. And now it's like, I can't live without my, got to be can't live without my frontal before my frontal can't live without my closure before my closure can't live without my leave out before my leave out can't live without them invisible parts girl i never did them invisible parts i'm just gonna say i never did i couldn't get with it i was leave out all day every day until it was broken off and looked a mess and then closures came around. And I hopped on closures. I thought my leave out was still kind of the week. Can you see that? To be honest, I feel like my face is looking real dusty. And I don't mean dusty as in like bad. I just mean dusty as in like really powdery. Let me hide my wig because it looks really bad today. But I don't know. What do you guys think? I think, I don't know. I'm, I'm just all over the place right now. But I'm just going to spray with my, um, my dewy setting spray i'm doing that because like i said i don't like to bake i don't like looking powdery i don't like looking like a bag of flour or powder so i feel like the dewy one helps me not look as dusty so yeah i'm just gonna put that on and i do put for the most part i put a generous amount of that I'm gonna fix my hair a little bit and how about I look? 50 shades of cray. I literally look like, I'm not even gonna say it, but I look weird. Cute, and we done. It's like, we need to put some type of something on our face. Some type of lip. This is a pretty natural look. The only thing I forgot to do was freckles, to put my freckles back in, because as you can see. So, uh, my not so smart self just figured out that it wasn't recording the whole time. But I basically just put some freckles on with my 
Revlon Color Stay um, liner. And I put this NYX Cream Lipstick in the color Sandstorm on my lips. I want it to be kind of natural-ish-esque. Hopefully this gets matte. And yeah, I'm just gonna apply lashes and come right back. I'm back, so I just put my lashes on. Um, I really can't put lashes on. I'm not good at it. Um, I can barely put them on by myself. Half the time, my lashes like fluttering in the wind, like that episode of Flavor Flavor of Love when your extra lashes was like fluttering everywhere, literally like that. But yeah, I did it. Okay, I don't know what kind of lashes these are. I'm sorry. Um, but I usually get them at CVS or Walgreens and they come with like the black. They're like in the clear case, but the top has like a black, a little black portion and then it's the case and the lashes inside. I usually get wispies. I'm sure that these are wispies, but that's just what they are. I think I want to pop some brown, um, in the inner corner. So... I'm just going to take a little bit of translucent powder. Put it under my eye, under my waterline really quick. The same over here. Be really careful because I already put the freckles on. Hmm. My contacts are dry as hell. I'm just going to put some of this NYX liquid cream lipstick in the color Downtown Beauty because you know I'm a Downtown Beauty or whatever. Just kidding. I'm not. Now I'm just going to put some on my fingertip. Just pat it so I'm not getting any excess. And put that on. And then after that, I'll probably end up putting some mascara on. My eyes are gonna start watering, I can feel it. Okay. And I'll go back to what I was doing. Now that my eye has absorbed all the translucent freaking powder. That's it. I'm just gonna wipe that powder away. The clean brush. And then I'm going to put a tiny bit of mascara. on my waterline and I'm gonna use the Maybelline Mega Plus. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Mega Plus volume. Wow, that's a mouthful. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Mega Plus volume express mascara, but I'm gonna be using the Benefit Their Real wand because my Benefit Their Real is dry and I really like the wand. And yes, I could get another one. But at the moment, I haven't, so this is what I'm gonna do. I like barely wanna put any on. So yeah. And that is the finished look. So I don't wear lashes every day. Um, this is kind of like an everyday full face makeup, I guess. If I were to put on a full face of makeup, it's pretty much this without the without the um, without the bronze statue in the beginning. That's pretty much what this is. So I feel like I could straighten my hair a little bit. 
you. Oh wow, I just have a translucent powder right here. No one's gonna tell me? No one? Anybody? That's fine. That's fine, I see how it is. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, To tame some of my flyaways, I'm just gonna clean my hand with alcohol really quick. To tame my flyaways, I'm going to use the tiniest bit of coconut oil. With blonde hair, you really want to limit the oil you put on it. Really want to limit it. So I'm kind of just doing this to um, keep the hair a little more together. And yeah, that looks a little better to me. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you liked this video. If you did, let me know. Leave your feedback down below. Um, if you like these kind of videos versus the ones that I was doing before, please let me know that too. Um, and yeah, thanks guys. Talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.